Hey, Jess, come and guess with me. Wake up, the sun is shining and it's time to start the day. Who knows what we will find as we travel on our way. We're gonna guess, 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 guess with Jess. We're gonna guess, 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 guess with Jess. We're gonna put it to the test. Guess with Jess, we're gonna try. What this fruit is? It's a peach. Mmm, yummy. Did you know there are peaches growing right here on Greendale Farm? Let me tell you a story about a time I found a peach tree. It was a lovely day, and Joey, Jinx, and I were playing tail chase. Woohoo! <laughs> Lovely peaches. Let's pick one and give it to Bar. Why Bar? Because he always eats grass. I bet he'd like to try something new. Let's pick that big one there. Okay, I'll knock it down. You catch. Ready? Huh. <laughs> oh. I've got it. So we took the peach to Bar. I've never had a peach before. Do you think I'll like it? You'll love it, Bar. <laughs> Peaches are soft and sweet and juicy. It's rock hard. Huh? Bar's right. He can't eat this. Hard peaches don't taste nice. Thanks, Jess. But I think I'll just stick to my grass. Hold on. I'm sure I can fix this. Let's think. How can I make my peach soft enough to eat? Hey, that's the big question. <laughs> Ask a lot of what? Ask a lot of where? Ask a lot of why? Ask a lot of ask it, test it, find a way. Yes, with Jess, come on, let's play. What's the question here today? Can I make my peach soft enough to eat? Maybe Horace could help us. Good idea, Billy. Horace always has great ideas. My friend Horace the Frog likes swimming. Where do you think we'll find him? At the stable, at the pond, or in my barn? At the pond, yes! Come on, let's go and find Horace. Okay, Jess. Horace! Horace! Oh, hi there. Sorry, I've been clearing out my pond. Look at all the stuff that gets into it, all soggy and soft. Is it the water that's made it all go soft? Guess it must be. The water keeps my skin soft too. Here, feel. <laughs> Lovely and soft. Hey, you've answered my big question. Whoop, whoop. Hmm, what was it? <laughs> How can I make my peach soft enough to eat? All I have to do is throw it into the water. Uh, Jess. Brilliant idea, Jess. So off we went to play tail chase while we waited for the peach to soften. We had to test the peach to see if soaking it in the water had worked. Thanks, Horace. No, it's not soft, just wet. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, no. But I wouldn't give up that easily. I decided to ask someone who's good at gardening and knows a lot about growing things. Who would that be? She's pink and she lives in a hut. Is it Jinx? Mimi or Willow? Yes, it's Mimi! So I went to see Mimi. When I got there, she was doing something amazing and really, really fun. What are 
are you doing, Mimi? I'm making a flower pot. A flower pot? <laughs> it doesn't look like a flower pot. It looks like a big lump. <laughs> it's clay. I'm softening it up and then I can mould it into a pot shape. Like this. Oh! I get it. Throwing the clay around makes it go soft. That's brilliant! Is it? Yes! You've just answered my big question, Mimi. Thanks! <laughs> what was the big question? Back in Buttercup Meadow, I tried throwing the peach about to see if it made it go soft. One lovely soft peach coming up. Oh. <sighs> That's enough. Pa, come and get your peach. Yeah. It's all dirty and mushy now. <sighs> we don't want it to be mushy. We want it to be soft. It looks like what works for clay doesn't work for peaches. Thanks, Jess. But I think I'll stick to my grass. I'm definitely going to get you a soft peach to eat, Bar. I promise. Oh, oh, I can see Willow and the puppies over at Cherry Hill. Well spotted, Billy. Willow's so clever, I'll go and ask her to help. Come on, let's go. When I got to Cherry Hill, I could see that Willow had been very busy. Willow! Willow! <laughs> Hello, Jess. What's all the rush? I've got a big question and I need a big answer. OK. What's the question? We picked a peach for Bar, but it's too hard. How can I make my peach soft enough to eat? You mean like these cherries? <laughs> Go ahead, you two. They're nice and ripe. I just picked them. Mmm! Yummy! So soft and juicy! Really? How did you make the cherries go soft, Willow? <laughs> I didn't do anything. I waited for them to go soft by themselves. It's called ripening. You need fruit to ripen before it becomes soft and tasty. That's it? It's that easy? It is. I left them on the tree and the sun shone until they were all red, rosy and soft and ripe enough to eat. Then maybe it's the same for peaches. I wonder. So that's what we did. We waited for the peaches on the peach tree to go ripe in the sunshine. We checked on them every day until finally they were ripe and I could pick one for Bar. <laughs> Sorry you had to wait so long. That's okay. Good things are worth waiting for. <laughs> well? well, what do you think? It's sweet, it's juicy and really soft. That's because it's ripe enough to eat now. We've found the answer to the question. Yippity yay, yippity yay, yippity yay! Hooray! Hey, hey, yippity yay! We found the answer with Jess today. We followed the clues, we put it to the test. We tried our best and then we guessed. Hey, hey, yippity yay! my peach soft enough to eat by waiting for it to ripen. It's just that it's so ripe and so juicy and so <laughs> delicious and... Oh, it's all gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bar, and we thought that all you liked eating was... <laughs> it really was delicious. Maybe you could find a lovely, soft, ripe peach to eat too. <laughs> Come and help me answer another question soon. <laughs> <laughs>